Hey guys and welcome to another OAB modding video. In this video I'm going to show you how to change the colour on a mod. For an example I'm going to use the Gilbert 1800. So we'll unzip it by double clicking it, unzipping it, we're going to unzip it to the same folder. We're going to go into the folder. I've only unzipped it so we can actually see the differences we make. So if we open Giants, you can see there it's red at the moment. Same as the standard in game. Well, I think this is not just MR, it's also a multi fruit. I will provide a link to the mod, it's off uh, SSUK. So we'll just minimize that down again. Now, normally all the colour files will be in textures. As you can see, there we go. It's obviously this one, because it's red. Now, open, double click it, open it in paint.net, and all you're going to do is go to adjustments hue and saturation and take your slider and drag and we can go any colour we like this way any colour we like that way the only problem we're going to have is if we go back to red by clicking reset to make life easier we've got yellow parts as you can see these little bits now to do the job properly you have to cut them out So we'll start by doing that, we're going to press the S button well no we're not, we're going to close the hue down we're going to press the S button, we're going to have to use last hue so if we zoom in we can head up to the top here zoom in a bit more, just make life a little easier so all you do is draw around this you have to have a steady hand to work with the mouse, there may be a better way to do it but I don't know it magic one possibly would work, or it may select the entire thing, we'll try that on the next area, see what it does alright so there you go, and all you do is press ctrl x to cut it and ctrl shift and v to paste it into a new layer now by doing that it's separate from the original layer and I'll show you shortly, right, we'll carry on finding bits, let's try the magic one, see if it does work no, as you can see the whole screen's gone blue so that means it's selected it all so quick click, not going to work, back to lasso right then, we we'll have to lasso everything it just takes a little bit of time and patience but to do the job right, you've got to put the effort in this is one of those finicky things again, control X, control shift ah, you see I failed. Control Z, bring it back up. We're on the wrong layer. Back to background. You have to select background, then Control X, then it will cut it. So if we go to layer two, then we can just Control V now, and it will paste it into layer two. So back to background. Press S twice for lasso again. So you know what is perfect, even though I'm trying to do a tutorial. So we'll lasso all this. Uh, it's the same idea for doing the star image as well just take the whole thing use the lasso to cut out your picture of the vehicle trailer implement lasso that cut it well you actually need to cut it because it's uh, the highlighted part that I can show you as soon as I uh, highlight all of this because if once this is highlighted, oh, missed a bit, minor problem. Hopefully, it won't affect it too much. Right, because you see how this part's highlighted, we're on background. If we just go to adjustments now, the only part that's going to change colour is the part that's highlighted. Obviously, we don't want to change its colour, we want to cut it, and paste it into layer 2, which is Ctrl X to cut and Ctrl V to paste. Right, back into the background, we'll have to zoom out again now because I can't remember where the other yellow parts are and uh, we've got one there and one there so we'll zoom in two little messages to go, there's one and that's a nice perfect square so we can use a square select which is pressing S once or clicking over there, it's 
going to grab the red. That's got it. Are we on background? Yes, we are. Control X. Select layer 2. Control V. Again, nice and simple. Make sure we're on background. Press S. Oh, close. Not close enough. There we go. Control X, back up to layer 2, Control V. Right then, I think, we'll just check it over. Those are all the yellow parts that we need, so we'll select background, go to adjustments, human saturation, and we'll go for. Haha, everything's selected. Do apologise. As you can see down there, we have a little selection box. It's that small, I forgot about it. So we just have to turn it off, make sure that nothing's selected. Try this again. There we go. We'll go nice blue. There we are. As you can see, the yellow parts didn't change colour. So it's Control Shift F to flatten it down into a single image. Go to save. That's saved quite happily. So we'll minimise that. Go back into Giants. Click here. Reload all textures. Boom. Blue. That is the easy way of changing colours on our vehicles. Obviously, you can see we've missed little bits here where it's gone purple. That's to do with the lassoing. Those came out alright. PTO parts still yellow. All the other decals aren't included in that particular part. I think that's gone a little purple there, hasn't it? Yes, that's caught the red as well. Obviously, to do this yourself, you can take as much time as you want. Obviously when you zoomed out, how you'd normally see it in farms and in-game, you can't notice that there's purple there. And that is how you change the colour. We're done in there, we're done in there. Obviously, you back up now, all the way to the beginning, zip everything up. Well actually, you don't even need to zip everything up. All you need to do is do that actually in the file if I back right out and we double click this opening it up if you went into textures on the ROM Gilbert uh, that one wasn't the Prodiffuse open it up see how this is red if you did what we did to that image and saved it it would put it back into here so you don't need to unzip it but yeah, that's how you change the colour of anything thank you very much for watching catch you next time bye